they're gonna hear it. Okay. All right, well, welcome to the University of Illinois Jazz Forum for Friday, what is it, September 10th. We want to welcome all our people out there in Facebook land and out on the internet uh, for joining us today. Uh, we're going to try to stream all of our jazz forums uh, from here on out for the rest of the semester every Friday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you happen to be around Facebook, just tune into Jazz at Illinois on Facebook and you'll be able to watch a live stream of one of our jazz ensembles as we will do today. Um, this is a regularly occur occurring class for all of our grads and undergrads here that are jazz majors. Um, so that's who you see if you see any of the audience, uh, people walking by <laughs> the camera. Uh, we, are, we are streaming live. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it over to today's ensemble. We have uh, 15 different ensembles, I believe, this semester. So 15 different uh, groups will be playing each week. This week, uh, we have one of our two jazz trombone ensembles. Uh, this one's under the direction of Jim Pugh, our professor of jazz trombone. He's sitting here, and he'll chat with you later. But I'm just going to turn it over to them. This is our jazz trombone ensemble one. Take it away.
thanks. Um, this is the U of I Jazz Trombone Ensemble. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to get to hear this again. The last time I heard this group was in Washington, D.C. We were down there, uh, just a little point of pride. We were down there collecting our piece of paper for having won the, I think for the fifth time, the National Jazz Trombone Ensemble competition. And uh, that was, we got back from Washington and uh, everything closed down. So, <laughs> so it's it's really a treat to be able to hear this hear this music, hear this group again. Since we we're very early in the season, we pulled out a bunch of sort of golden oldies. Uh, that was a sort of a reorchestration of a Thad Jones composition titled "Us." It was one of the sort of mainstays for that band, one of the, the famous things for the, the Thad Jones Mel Lewis band and um, one of our students here, David Fletcher, who's now living in Chicago, did a really, as you can tell, a really nice job of like catching all of Thad's very thick voicings and stuff and boiling it down to just five, <coughs> five voices and making it work very nicely. Um, we're gonna visit Thad again a little bit later. But right now we're going to play a composition, well it's a composition of uh, trombone Steve Davis um, entitled Grove's Groove. It was originally written for, uh, sort of, it was written while he was still alive, but it was written sort of for Roy Hargrove. Um, and this is a arrangement of that tune by Frank Niemeyer, who's still in the tail end, ABD, he's in the tail end of his, his doctoral work. And uh, anyway, it's gonna feature a bunch Let's see, who all's featured? This is going to feature Andrew Danforth, it's featured Peter Leon Lewis and Cole on piano, it's going to feature Kyle Hunt, and it's going to feature Mitch, Mitch, right, Mitch Nafkin on bass, and this is Grove's Groove.
Deion Lewis Nicole. Kyle Hunt. And Mitch Maffian back in the middle. And Bill Barr's a beautiful drum solo from <laughs> so this is actually uh, this little Thad Jones rearranging uh, of things. Actually, this is the chart that sort of started started that. Um, David Fletcher had done a, a duo thing with another trombone player, on, and they did sort of a realization of, of Thad's uh, um, arrangement composition of a tune called Three and One. And we decided it'd be fun to do it for this group, and then us came out of that. So this is another Dave Fletcher realization of Thad's. Basically, well, this one has a, there's a transposition in it to make to make it work tessitura wise. But other than that, it's like note for note uh, Thad's chart. Uh, let's see. This one's going to feature because there's an inside trio, and the, on Thad's band it was Thad on flugelhorn, Pep Rounds on baritone sax, and Richard Davis on bass. That had like the the, the sort of the little trio inside of the band stuff. And this time it's going to be covered by tenor trombone, bass trombone, and bass. Uh, let's see. So we'll be having the trio is going to be Jeremiah St. John, Rich Goal, and two bass solos in one hour concert. <laughs> Mitch Mathian in the back. <coughs> We're very happy about that. So this is Thad Jones's three and one.
Yeah, thanks. Um, let's see, we pulled a couple, like I said, we were digging into the, uh, the uh, U of I Jazz Trombone Ensemble archives. Uh, for anybody out there in, you know, in YouTube land, uh, a lot of these charts are published. We, there's sort of a U of I Jazz Trombone Ensemble series with uh, Cherry Classics publications for anybody who might want to play this, any trombone groups out there in, in uh, streaming land that might be interested. But um, this next piece is a composition of Frank Niemeyer's. Uh, it's a very, very beautiful ballad written. It's called Dunini, which is, I guess, a street that he lived on at some point in his life or whatever. I, I don't know the whole story. I wish he was here to tell, to tell the story of where it came from. Um, for those who might be interested, it's it's a ballad it's a ballad rethinking of giant steps, but in minor. <laughs> so, uh, if you can follow, if you can follow your major major third motions, but in minor. So, enjoy. <laughs>
solo spots. Oh, that's a little bit from Andrew Danforth yeah. again. <laughs> from Leon Lewis Nicole. Mm -hmm. And who hadn't, you hadn't really heard from before, from Max Begu on key guitar. Yeah. We've got one more, one more tune for you. Uh, this is, well actually, let me see. Let me go through and introduce everybody, just, you know, so you take them. Um, we're gonna hear from, this one person we haven't heard from yet, very soon, but let's start with, uh, yeah, let's start with uh, the Adama Sarah. So we have Jake Krakenbrod, <laughs> Jeremiah St. John. <laughs> Andrew Danforth, <laughs> Kyle Hunt, <laughs> Rich Cole, <laughs> and back in the room section, we have Leon Lewis Nicole, <laughs> and Greg on guitar, <laughs> Rich Matthew on our bass, <laughs> and Frankie, Frankie Paradis on drums. <laughs> uh, this next tune is. I guess, it, by, well, it's called Day Drinker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what we could like euphemize it. Euphemize it. But Frank, uh, this is a, another composition of Frank Niemeyer's that he wrote. I guess after being inspired from watching Mad Men, where where all these like very high-paid Madison Avenue executives like start out the day. <laughs> Drinking, they all have bars in their offices and all this kind of stuff. So he, you know, so it's like fifties and sixties. So he wrote this tune, not so much that it that it, you know, emulates drunkenness or any of that kind of stuff, but it, but it's sort of a, a tune of the period, like you can imagine, like a you know, sixties ish sit, sitcom, like you know, could be Bewitched or <laughs> one of those kind of one of those kind of vibes. But there's some. Some really nice, really nice set of changes. Very, it's a very lovely, appropriate tune for that period, and um, and there's some uh, some really nice ensemble writing in it. So this is thanks for thanks for coming. Those of you, some of you had to be here. Those of you that didn't have to be here, thanks for coming. Those of you that did have to be here, thanks for coming. And uh, so it goes. This is Frank Niemeyer's Day Drink. Oh yeah, and this is going to feature Jake Truckenbrod on trombone and Max Dragu on the guitar. So we'll see you next week.
Facebook land, please tune back in. Uh, next Friday, we'll have another forum at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time right here from Smith Hall on the campus of the University of Illinois. Thank you, and we will see you next time.